And here's a shot of the port side of the boat. And you can see the big camper canvas package and it's got the zip out so it's all screened in. See all the zip And out. let's start in the cockpit of the Sea Ray 310. There you can see a big U-shaped lounge. And this seat right here snaps in and snaps out for easy access so people don't step on it. As you can see these beautiful colors in the Sea Ray 310. And then it's got a little gate there that closes when underway and plus a little shower in the back people getting on that and brings off. us to our wet bar area as you can see with this wet bar there's a little sink there plus a garbage down below and then an electric grill topside let me just pop that up to show you the electric grill topside and then below the electric grill if you open this cabinet here you have a full refrigerator. So they certainly make it comfortable for captain and guests underway. And at the helm you have well-appointed seats with his and her bolsters. And as I showed you down below, this is the where the bow sun pad goes. And those two are speakers for the bow sun pad. So if you're laying in the sun, you can be accompanied by your favorite music. And here's a table that sets up in the cockpit, plus a umbrella shade for the rumble seat in the aft. And of course, on the swim platform aft of the boat is your fold-out rumble seat that can be displayed like this for when you're anchored off an island or at the dock, and then folded up when you're underway. Here's a shot of entering the Sea Ray 310 Sundancer. This is the interior of the 2009 boat. As you can see of the flooring there. Gorgeous flooring. And here's a shot of the master berth. And it has storage underneath the mattress as well as closets for his and her on each side. And then of course more storage underneath the bed and of course storage on each side of the bed and this will give you a good nice long wide shot of the galley comes with a refrigerator isotherm freezer box of course your sink microwave and a two burner stove and then storage throughout. As you can see, there's plenty of cabinets. And here is the salon couch. And as you can see, there's cabinets above, below, tons of storage on this boat. We just wanted to get you a sense of that. And then, of course, is a flat screen TV right there. And this will give you an idea for the mid for guests. Number one, it's a very big roomy couch back there. There's the pads for the uh, fill-in for the bed when that converts into a bed. And then as well there is the sun pad for the bow of the boat. Those are all interior and previous owners stored them back here but just to give you a feeling for the mid it's very very big and deep with a curtain once again to close it off big mid cabin and of course a small flat screen TV right there and here's a shot of the marine head plenty of storage and also converts into a shower by pulling this out and it goes right up there and as you can see throughout this boat is that wood flooring teak like wood flooring and once again more upgrades uh, we have a Sony iPod Drive S it's called and it's just a major stereo marine stereo system plus you have your DVD for the TV as well as a 6 CD changer and then we get to the well appointed helm as you can see they do a fantastic job on this boat in terms of the dials and gauges just no one does it better than Sea Ray then you have your large Raymarine C80 chart plotter, your smart craft 
which will tell you everything you need to know about the engines, everything going on with your system and your boat. Then, of course, you're going to have your remote control for your stereo, your radio, remote control spotlight, and all the different gauges for vent, windshield wipers, uh, bilge, arch, cockpit lights. I mean, just well-appointed helm from everything to horn to anchor to the hatch lift. And then, of course, you have your trim tabs down here. And then we get to the star of the show, which is the Axius system. And then you have your joystick, which the captain sits on the captain's right. And it takes all the witchcraft out of docking. Right here is an intuitive joystick. Makes the boat go sideways, any which way you want to go. Makes everybody look like a pro while okay, docking. Okay, this is a demonstration of the system. As you can see, there is the joystick for the Axius system. If you push the joystick back into the left, you will see you are moving back into the left. It is a totally intuitive system, just used by your right hand. Now the boat, boat is spinning to the right, and it is all done. Now with frantic use of shifters, but just the joystick control. And as you twist the joystick, the boat turns. And here's an example of the joystick system from the outside. What it does is it allows you to actually have the boat go totally sideways. So if you can get the boat lateral to a dock in windy and current conditions, you don't have to worry about it. All you do is just use the joystick and the boat will spin, move sideways, do anything you want. It's all done by computer. All you do is operate the joystick. All the computers in the boat move the boat for you. As you can see right here, the boat is just going sideways towards the dock, which normally, without today's technology, would be a lot of frantic throttle use and a high skill level to get a boat to move in any kind of a direction like that. And one of the main important features, as you can see right here, to the Axios Drive system is this one is equipped with Skyhook. What that means is you engage the system and push Skyhook and the boat will automatically use computers and direct the props any which way it has to to keep the boat in the same exact location. All done via satellite. So the Skyhook is engaged and the boat just stands perfectly still in the same spot, which would be great for waiting for bridges, any, anything, docking maneuvers, everything. The Skyhook is a phenomenal addition. So this boat does have the Skyhook feature.